Welcome back to episode 3 of Forza Horizon 5. Today is all about muscle, baby. We are rolling out with an exquisite muscle car right here. We're actually heading over to... We're heading over to a new house that we can claim for free. I'm getting all these sorts of houses for free that, you know, obviously I'm gonna take it. So we're actually heading over to a house. And then after that, we already have the amount of points that we needed to start a new adventure, if you will. Hold on. A little bit of a rough terrain here. Let's try and, ooh, oh my God, this is fucking beautiful. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. You can't be classics. It's, it's almost impossible. Oh, dude. This is so sick. Okay, okay. Slow down. It's even harder to drive in first person when you don't have the guides. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no. Come on, come on. You got this. That was on purpose. That was all on purpose. I was I was trying to peel out on purpose, okay? It was part of the plan all along. All right, here we are. Let's see what we got here. You've arrived at your destination. La Casa Solarieja. Solariega. This looks interesting. Beautiful old Spanish mission style place. Like something out of an old Western movie. Bro. This house is normally a million five hundred thousand, and I get it for free. Felicidades! A great purchase. Here's the keys. You can move in whenever you're ready. <laughs> this feels like a cheat code, bro. What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, so you can set this house. Uh, sure, we'll do that. All right, so we're gonna go back now. And what I want to do now is. I want to go to the Horizon Adventure. And since we're kind of going down the list, I don't want to stick on one tab for too long because then it, you know, I want to go back and forth and stuff like that. Let's go to the next one down below, which is the one we said we we're going to go to on the last episode. So the Jungle Expedition. Track down a big cat in the Mexican jungle. Wow. <laughs> All right, sorry, I need to stop. Gotcha. I'll prep Ramiro for an expedition to the dirt racing outpost. Don't get lost in there. Bro, this car is so sick, bro. I fucking love this car. I wonder if they have my car here in this game. Amigo! Ready to head into the jungle? We need to find a dirt outpost. And a certain big cat I've been chasing. In 100 yards, turn right. Very nice. You have arrived at your destination. Jungle expedition. Hell yeah. I feel like Toretto in that car. The big cat of La Selva, which is the jungle. Oh. Hola, my friend. Aren't you ready to get going? Sir Ravi, you said something about a big cat. A long story. I tracked it all the way into the jungle. Lost my notes. Wow, this uh, is nice. Why don't I explain it on the way? First, let's retrace my steps. We head south, across the highway, and over the hills. Vamos. Hmm. I thought big cats would avoid major highways. <laughs> Yo, this is Not cool. This one, my friend. Mira, next, I turned off road and hit a danger sign on the way into Moleje. Yo, this is sick, dude. I didn't hit the sign. I was looking at the car. I'm sorry. I, I, I was mesmerized, but we'll hit, we'll hit the sign right head. now. <laughs> Rosa is tall in the craft market. She was the one who first told me about the big cat. Now I have your help. Holy sure crap. Welcome to Moleje. Yo, what the hell? Rosa is tall in the craft market. She was the one who first told me about the big cat. Now I have your help. I'm sure we'll find it. Next, I went across the bridge and into the jungle. 
getting close. Hold up, bro. You owe me a long story. Perdón. Let me explain. Oh, this is so I nice. I was given coordinates of where this big cat was last sighted. But the plane had mechanical problems on takeoff. I barely got it off the ground. So you dumped your cargo. Exacto. Ooh. I lost everything, and I never even saw the cat. But now you're here to help me. And it's on the way. Listen, this game actually rewards you for going off-road and bumping into trees and shit. So I, I have no problem with that whatsoever. I left my car at the far end of the runway. All my stuff, including my notes, should be in the flight cases. You think you can find them too? Dude, that is so sick. The big cat is a car, right? I'm guessing... Jaguar? Obviously! <laughs> Sorry, did I not mention? <laughs> it's a barn find. Drop me off at my car once you've found it. All right, so discover the lost barn find notes. Uh, what is this? Find uh, Ramiro's pilot outfits. Again, you found my notes. Okay, press to view. Hmm. Rosa said the Jaguar was abandoned by its owner 20 years ago. I've marked out the rough location on your map. Oh, snap. Hold up. Hold up. I see what's going on here. Hold up. Bro, no way. Can I go up here? Oh, <laughs> let's try this again. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> what were you wearing to fly the plane? My spare flight suit. What did you think? You can keep it if you like. The flight recorder. It's designed to survive any crash. Maybe not getting run over by a car, but I don't see you getting out to grab it. All right, what do we got in here? We still gotta find or discover his rainy day fun and his pilot helmet. <laughs> oh God! Clear for takeoff. All right, we got that. Now I believe. All right, how do we get that up there? Hmm. All right, see, we got a ramp back there. My helmet. Yes, yes my friend. All right, so we got one. the helmet. Now we got to go and get the day fund, which should be right over here. I get back here, get some good old speed. And it might actually be... Ah, oh, God, I see. I got to get enough speed and then break on top of that. All right, hold up. Let's see how we can do this. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oof! Dude, that was so close! How come you were carrying a hundred thousand credits? Oh, my friend. Just some winnings I made on the street scene. Bro, that was so close. Alright, hold up. Now, the big cat was last sighted in a white barn with a brown door. Have a look around here. Okay, a white barn with a brown door. Oh, there it is. Got it. He found it. Finally! It's the XJR-15! Nice. Rapido, and a long way from its native habitat in the UK. I wonder how it got here. That's a badass car. All right. So we got that out of the way. At the end of the runway. It's gotta There's be this way. Car. Drop me around here when you're ready to leave. Bro, I really wanna keep this Jeep. Like, I really, really do. And that is also a badass whip, bro. 
Are you kidding me? That is nice. That is so nice. Alex wants the biggest dirt racing program Horizon has ever seen. And we are going to give it to him. Deep into the jungle. Give it to me. I'm really liking this. This whole off-road thing we got going on. This is... Oh, holy shit. Sorry, bud. But, you know... Follow me. Get them lost if we follow the river. All right, so follow the river. I know we're pals and all, but... I can't let you make a fool out of me, you know? How would you like to visit some old friends along the way? Absolutely. Oh, God. Oh, whoop, there it goes. Welcome to Xmal. Once the most powerful city in the region. Oh. But I'm afraid we missed my friends by about a thousand years. <laughs> we'll take this road. Getting close now. I promise you dirt This road. is so Didn't fucking I? dope, I dude. I used to raise buggies around here when we were teenagers. <laughs> I always want. <laughs> I hope you've grown out of your rivalry. Rivalry? My friend, in Mexico we call that family. <laughs> Let's go back across the river. This is Agua Azul. We're so close now. Keep going. Ah, come on. Oh no. We stopped. He'll be back, my friend. Big dirt racing plans. <laughs> Are those howler monkeys? We didn't have them back in the UK. Your jungles must be very boring. And here we are. The waterfall turned right around the corner. Hey, hey, hey! Cascadas de Agua Azul. What do you think? Is the Mexican jungle good enough for Alex and the best dirt racers in the world? It's perfect. I just hope the dirt racers are good enough for the Mexican jungle. Hmm. Okay. I love the amount of points we're getting. I thinking all the way through that jungle. This place would be perfect for dirt racing. <laughs> Funny! <laughs> I had the same thought. That's a Check dope little Jeep. Horizon Wilds. A little festival of my own where we celebrate all things dirt racing. Oh, this is going to be good. I've started you off simple with a few events, and the drivers and fans have challenges to match. So, off you go and get dirty. Beep, 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 beep. So I came to this race because it's also, it's got one of those garages with, where we can find a car hidden in, hopefully. Cascada Trail. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so here we have, uh, oh, this is nice. Gotta be this one, right? Yeah. I guess. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and try this one. I don't think I've used this car yet. Or have we? In the beginning, I think we did, right? I don't know if we used this. Uh, I think we did, actually. Oh, look at that Porsche, man. That shit is nice. Yeah, we did use this car. I remember now. The Hoonigan. <laughs> I remember that name anywhere. Well, I would assume this is good enough. Oh, that, that freaking Porsche is so beautiful. 
All right, so this is a, a progressive sort of race. Sprint race. Is that what we call them nowadays? I don't know. I'm just here for the lols, all right? Let's go, bitch. I, I should have probably got in that other car, man. The one we just, uh, just got rewarded. That would have been nice. But I think this one was slightly better. Oh, God. We're already a quarter of the way there. This is easy, bro. Easy peasy, bro. We got this. Come on. Nice and easy, slow turns. You can do this. Don't get ahead of yourself. Still got somebody right on our tail. Nice and easy. Oh, 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 oh. Don't get crazy now. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Excellent. I really enjoy the races that are like very tight like this. Like where you're racing and you have them right on your ass the whole time. It's a little bit more nerve wracking, but I will say it's also feels more, uh, I don't know, more thrilling. Oh God. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to do this with the, with the muscle car. <laughs> that would have been hilarious though. All right, 80% there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, I, I said this a couple of episodes ago, but we're at the point already where I just don't know how much more real these games can get. As far as like like the actual cars, you know, they're, they, they look so realistic. The only thing that we have left to improve is probably the, the outer world, you know, like the trees and the grass. The people, like the NPCs, the crowd, that type of stuff. But everything else, like as far as the car itself, I just don't know how it can get any better. It's insane. Hey, Gonzalez. This is the Eliminator, an epic event that puts you versus everyone to see who is crowned the winner. They're taking sign-ups if you're interested. Well, uh, all right, all right, girl. All right, so La Selva Scramble Rookie. Please give me something good. Come on, man. Oh. What? Dude, a 72 Land Rover. I've actually looked into that car. They're expensive as hell. Because I've got a Land Rover myself, so I was looking into a classic before I got mine. And, um, yeah, they're very pricey, to say the least, but beautiful. Oh, wow, 200,000. Shit, I'll take that over the, the M3, to be honest. This is like supply drops in Call of Duty. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, really? Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, man. It's such bullshit. Come on, come on. Okay, all right. I'll take the Polaris. All right, you know what? Fine. We got this. Let's go. All right, this is three laps. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. Y'all need to slow down. All right, this is refreshing. A map, a map of laps. I like it. No, 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 no. Get out the way. Get out the way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this car drives nice. What I really like about this game is that they, they give you a lot of stuff for free. You know, you know what it is. If it's for free, I, I ain't gotta say it twice. If it's for free, it's for me. I like this car. This is sweet. Oh God! Get out the way! Get out the way! Oh, 
Ah, oh, these laps are pretty long, huh? I don't think anything's gonna be the 10 lap race that we did <laughs> on the last episode that I had no idea about because obviously I didn't read the description. Ah, right on my ass. Lap number two coming up. There we go. This is the lap where we start uh, pacing ourselves. We start dividing ourselves from the rest of the group. This is where you see the normal racers and then you see the legendary racers. Here we go. 10 seconds later, I crash and I fail the race. That would be some shit. But I keep my eyes on the road. I'm already kind of getting used to not having those little race markers on the road. But what I think I'm going to do is I might put them back. Uh, I put them back, like I said on the last episode. Just maybe increase uh, the, the difficulty to hard or whatever the harder difficulties are. I'm not on easy or anything. I'm just on regular default. So I play all my games. Um, but just to, to challenge myself and see how that works. Set off the music for a sec here. Yeah, I know. Some peace and tranquility. Lap number two. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to bump up the difficulty. Because the, the races start off pretty hard, but then... Then you start kind of... Uh, separating yourself from the rest of the group eventually. And that two shabs. The mangrove scramble. So let's see how much star, uh, credits we get for this race. I'm imagining the ones that have laps give you more than the sprint ones. I would assume, right? <clears throat> I'd say five's your lucky number, but I have a feeling you're not stopping there. Spin the wheel. <clears throat> Whoa, let's go, an STI. My cousin's got that car. That shit, that shit drives really nice. Well, he had. Drives really nice. So we need 1,500. Okay, so lap races do, in fact, it seems like they do give you more. Oof. Seriously? What the hell? We're taking the short way. Screw it. Oh, God. Oh my god. Bro, it goes so fast on the dirt. Obviously. It serves it's serving its purpose. That is, a, that is phenomenal, dude. That is so great. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination. <laughs> Why even take the road? Absolutely. Pointless. You have arrived at your destination. Progress race, perfect. This is so sick, man. Excuse me. Ah. Sorry. You got a Ford right there as well. Oh no 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 no! Whoa whoa whoa! Yikes. Bro, look at the dust. Like the little dust uh, uh, on, those, on, the, on the rear bumper when you go through the dirt. That is fucking awesome, bro. I mean, obviously, it's not like revolutionary technology in video games. We've seen this before, but this game just has so many little details. Uh oh. Yikes, yikes. 
Well, I'll take the drift points. I'm not complaining. Ultimate clean racing, bro. Come on, look at me. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be hard. Oh shit! Yikes! Oh my goodness! Okay, slow down there. Slow it down, bro. This this car controls so good on on these terrains. Wow, man. This is just next level. Uh, we got a couple of curves coming up. Oh my God. Stay composed. We got this. Wow, dude. Excellent, flawless performance. If I do say so myself. Was that a dog limping? It's all limping dog across the road. No, oh, man. Fuck. I don't want to hit the wall. That was phenomenal. That was so fun. That was probably my favorite race just because of how smooth that was for me. New chapter available, baby. Hey, Gonzalez. I have blueprints for a bunch of new adventures, and you have decisions to make. We are headed to Baja next. Oh, whoa, hey, calm down there, tiger. 